Now it's time to run the wiring for the Y and the X motors. And uh, to run the wiring for the Y, you simply wrap it around this um, threaded rod here. This threaded rod that's part of the extra rigidity kit. I don't know what you're supposed to do with it if you didn't buy the extra rigidity kit. Um, but anyway, this is what you're supposed to do. Just wrap it around there, making sure to leave yourself enough at the end over by the Arduino um, to, to get to the connectors, to the connection without putting any strain on you. You want enough slack over there so that it's not pulled too tight as you plug it in. Same deal for the, um, for the X. Uh, you wrap it around the, uh, the center truss rod, the center uh, rigidity kit rod. Um, and there's no need to go real tight there. It's just, this is just to, to keep it up off the tabletop and, uh, you know, keep it from vibrating too much. Um, you could just as easily put it inside some kind of plastic loom and wire tie it to that rod going across there. But, uh, this, this seems to work for most people. Um, and if you change your wiring later to something else then you can always move the wiring, um, bottom line is just, you don't want it to bind and you don't want it too tight either by the motor or over by the Arduino because you don't want to put any strain on the uh, on the wires and so just kind of play it out and you know just like I said just make sure you have enough uh, loose over by the Arduino so that it's not too tight where you plug it in. I recorded a nice section showing you uh, where to plug in the three different motors but uh, I screwed it up and plugged them into the wrong places so instead of showing you that um, and having you possibly burn up your motors or your board or have any other problems i just decided to show you a close-up of the uh the shield that goes on top of your arduino and so that's what we have here and uh, you can see it's labeled x y z from the top left x to the right of that y and the bottom left z and then the bottom right the uh, one with the red headers or orange headers that's an extra and it's not used here's an image of the board installed on the arduino this image is from the uh, millwright cnc owner's manual pdf that you would have downloaded um, and this is the way it's supposed to be wired as opposed to the way i wired mine initially and so again x in the top left y to the right of that and z in the bottom left and uh, notice that the x header that you plug in has the red wire on the top it goes red green yellow blue and the y and z have the blue wire on the top it goes blue yellow green red and so it's exactly reversed need to make sure you get that correct and so that's the wiring for your motors in our next video we're going to deal with uh, wiring up the homing switches and uh, then on yours you'll be a time where uh, you're ready to fire it up and test your motors make sure everything's working uh, for that there won't be a video just use the um, instructions in the pdf manual that you downloaded they're very clear and um, I'm there's a lot you need to stay on top of. It's not hard, um, but it's more than I want to try to include here. So follow the manual. You'll be fine.